been a rough day. <laughs> Anyways, we have four things going out, not three things, but here's all of the things we sold. We've had this for a minute, this hot air balloon crochet blanket. I don't even remember what I paid for it. I think I got it at Goodwill. It took a while to sell, guys. I wish it would have sold sooner, and I don't know why it didn't. Maybe the photos were bad, but anyways, we got $13.30 plus shipping for it. Really cute little piece. I really expected more for it, though. $22.40 plus shipping. We finally sold this very cute twin sheet set. I took an offer on the Cibella for $7 plus shipping. It's a repeat buyer. Got a bunch of these a while back. I've made my money long ago. And we have about four of these left. Why is there so much dust floating around right now? <laughs> and lastly, $11.20 plus shipping on this little Looney Tunes Tweety Bird keychain. I don't even remember where I got this. I think it was actually at the same sale that I got this and a bunch of other like really cool nostalgic items like Lisa Frank and Disney and all kinds of stuff. Polly Pocket. Anyways, guys, that's all we got. I'm gonna list. I might do a listing live and just list and chill with people. Try to get those watch hours up, guys. Um, yeah, you guys have a good night. I will see you later. I came across two more bags that I totally forgot to show you guys. Man, I'm... Today's just not my day. Anyways, I found this. Really cute. Uh, Harajuku Lovers. This is by Gwen Stefani, but... This is like her perfume line. I thought it said her name on it somewhere. But anyways, really cool. Little new in the box perfume. Picked up a lot of these little metal owls. I think this, these will do well. I paid about two bucks a piece. Also got this mushroom piece. It is damaged, but she did charge me a dollar for it. I think we'll still do okay on it. There's just a couple of chips. There's one there and right there. Oh, and I got this piece. It is worth a little bit. It does have a chip, though. I think this person was an eBay seller. I could just tell. Like, they were just trying to get rid of some death pile, I think. But we got this beautiful piece. There is a small chip right there. I think we'll still sell. Like, it'll still sell. It is marked Halls. Halls? I don't know. I did Google Lens it, though. Really cute little piece here. That's what I say about everything. Cute little piece, cute little piece. Anyways, guys. I'm gonna go list and clean up my office. I'm gonna show you guys this embarrassing mess right now that I have. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's awful. All right, guys. Hi, happy Sunday. Uh, I don't know what day it is. It's like March 2nd, I think, <laughs> something like that. Uh, we've got some stuff. I totally forgot to show you guys some more stuff that I ended up buying what was on Thursday or Friday. So I'm gonna show you that right now. This was also at the sale where I got sideswiped. <laughs> So I got this really cool blue, it's like a plastic quail paperweight. I just thought it was so interesting, so I grabbed that. I also got a set of two of these really cute little wine glasses. They're kind of dirty, but here's a little one and another little one. I have a set like this for personal use and I really like them and those two are really cute as well. So um, I know we have the other set over in the um oh my gosh I can't think today we have the other set in the van so when we went on our trips we had these little wine glasses to use I also got this for a dollar I think this is one of those Ellie Smith moon and stars I think this is a lid but I figured for a dollar I'd just grab it there was a lot of good glass at the sale and also just anxiety was running high you know since I just got sideswiped I was dealing with this dude and um so it was just kind of crazy went through the whole sale and got pretty much in and out in about 20 minutes got this really cool oil slick trinket dish i have had one like this before that was pink it was chipped though it was like a pink milk glass one so i thought this one was very interesting didn't look this one up either worst case scenario they charged me a buck for it i could throw it on a dollar auction i also got this which was super interesting i don't even know what it is but we got that also got I, this is like Christmas. I can't remember what I all got. Oh, this really cool cobalt blue bottle. Also paid like a buck for that. Another one of these little Fisher Price Farmers. It's just like the blue one that I found at the bins when uh, we were there for Plains to Profit. I'm saying a lot of uh and ums today. Sorry, guys. A dollar for this little carnival glass trinket dish. It's probably not worth a lot, but it was in good shape. Oh, I also got this. And I've sold one very similar. Really cool little 
bowl. I had one very similar I sold and even though it had a big old chip on the side, it still sold. Now, yesterday my husband and I had lunch plans with a friend so we went out to eat and while I was there, there was a guy I had met at the sale where I got sideswiped. He was actually parked behind me and saw the whole thing go down. I ended up talking with him because uh, there was another sale right after that estate sale and he ended up going to that. So we ended up getting to talking. Turns out he's also a reseller here in Lincoln, Nebraska. He goes by this on Instagram. I can't remember off the top of my head. I just remember the screen name. But I think it's like Captain's Port with a K, but we'll throw it right here. He's really cool. But he messaged me and told me there was an auction going on that day. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known. But anyways, you know we went to the auction, guys. And here's what we got. The first thing that I won at this auction was this box. It's just full of Easter stuff. I figured I could make some money on it, just throw it on the dollar auction. But I mainly got it for these. There was a bunch of these in there. And some lots of these go for a little bit. I'm going to make a little bit of money, but not a lot. It was just kind of to get get the ball rolling with... Uh, buying stuff at the auction but anyways we got that so I plan to go through that today I think list it as soon as possible I didn't want this whole lot but what I wanted from it was this we paid two dollars and fifty cents for the whole lot what was in there was this I don't think this device is actually in there but in this box is a ton of these like medical tubes for I think it's for an oxygen machine but I'm going to lock these up and sell them. There's some decent ones. And there's a bunch of different sizes. There's even these like Medline ones in there. And I've seen Jessica over at Resell to Ride sell these. Also in that lot, which I really didn't want, but they threw it all together, is this little sifter thing. I don't know. It could be worth some. If not, throw it on the dollar auction. Someone might want it. This little divided tray. I'll look it up. If it's not worth much, dollar auction. It was this cute little pink trash can i might just throw this on dollar auction i don't think it'll sell on ebay unless there's a crazy comp for this i'll throw it on there but honestly with how big it is i might just throw it on dollar auction someone's gonna want it i paid up there was a table with brass on it they decided instead of doing choice they just did the whole lot guys so i spent i think i i won it for 45 dollars the only reason why I paid up is because there's a set of swans in here, or pelicans, whatever, these. I literally just sold these, like, within the past couple months for $30. So these alone will get me 30 bucks of my money back. So we got those. I think they're pretty much the same ones. I don't remember the bases looking like that. A vase, a couple of brass, like, goblets, uh, trays. We got this little trinket dish, and then, like, a brass ashtray. That one's really cool. This was in there. I don't know what it is. Another brass ashtray that's really heavy and then a brass candlestick. It does say tarnish resistant, no silver polish. So just a little brass candlestick here. But of these, actually they're, they think, I think they match with the other two. So we could try to sell them as a full set. Oops. Another little vase, really cute brass gong. It fell apart in there, but it came with this. Really cute. It might be worth something. It's kind of different. I haven't seen something like this before. Brass elephant. And we also have a brass bell here. <phone rings> kind of looks like a little bottle. We also got this little copper basket thing. It's got some brass and some copper. And then a couple of these little tiny little shot glass wine glass things. A couple more things I bought. Um, the first one was, it was choice on the table. They had a bunch of the big mouth billy bass fish. Well, I saw this one, automatically I gravitated towards it, but this one has an amazing sell-through rate, guys. So I need to test it, but even if it doesn't work, we should still make money on that for the whole table. I ended up winning all of them. I forgot how much I paid. Uh, at, in total, we spent around, I think it was $120 for everything, and we'll definitely make our money back quick. Well, so anyways, in the lot that I won, we also got this. This one. <laughs> this one's a catfish and another catfish anyways guys that's all we got from that oh we have one more thing two more things guys got this phone for 20 bucks it is a vintage radio shack phone but it's like a regency something i don't know it's really cool and it's really heavy then i got this box it was choice on the table again i wanted one thing in this box but this came with it this air conditioner cover, it might be worth something, but honestly, we might just keep it for our house. And the thing I wanted in this box is a lava light lamp. Even though 
the liquid is pretty low even with the cap on it oh actually with the cap on it, it's not even that low this is awesome it's like one of those wizard lamps starlight lamps anyways we got this i forgot how much i paid but like i said this alone i'm thinking 80 to 100 bucks i need to do a little bit more research and especially if it works or doesn't work lastly we went to a it was marketed as a heated garage sale well as we got there i realized these people were probably like antique dealers but we still found some stuff they had a lot of amazing stuff but i had to pay up you know but anyways we found this which it's so funny i actually found the pig one is it porky pig uh but right now if i list this mine will be the only one on ebay in the box but six dollars on that one and while I was there, I found this and I was so excited because I just found at the sale where I got sideswiped and those are already listed, a pair of green ones of these. Unfortunately, when I went to buy it or look for, look around, it was supposed to be a pair. Well, I only found the red one, the one red. They had it marked at 10 for the pair and they even helped me look for the other one. They couldn't find it. So I left my number with them. Fingers crossed they maybe find it at some point. But they did charge me five bucks for the single one. And even as a single, this one should still sell. I also got this for five bucks. Very cool old salt shaker. And lastly, we found these and we paid $10 for a bunch of these. Uh, what are they like? Plaster something, but they're like the mermaid wall hangings. There are some chips. There's a couple pieces in here that were repaired, but even at 10 bucks this one you could see it was repaired right here but like even at 10 bucks we should still make some decent money i'm thinking 40 to 50 bucks on these we've also got this one which i don't think this one's damaged at all but yeah it's just a little set of mermaid ones <clears throat> very cool i thought there was another bubble in there but maybe not this one this one was also chipped on her neck right there that is everything we got yesterday Whew, that was a lot <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I want to do a listing live, but first I got to go pull orders. So I'm going to show you guys what has sold over the weekend so I can get that packed before I go live. All right, y'all, time to pull some orders. You can see some stuff I have back there that I threw on the dollar auction. First off, we sold this. This is a Razor and Key gaming chair replacement right arm. This has a whole story. Um... At the old house, well, at any of the houses we've been to, I don't let my cats in my office at night, especially because there's eBay stuff and because one of my cats is particularly destructive. Well, Seven, my youngest and my most destructive cat, accidentally got locked in my room overnight and he decided to bite my new hundred, few hundred dollar gaming chair from Razor. It's the Razor Enki and... I got a hold of them. Razor actually sent me a whole new armrest and like the chair back. They sent me a whole new one free of charge. So they have gained my business for life, guys. If you guys are ever looking for gaming stuff, Razor is the way to go. But here's the armchair that Seven bit up. Anyways, we sold it, guys. $30 plus shipping. Bought this at a estate sale for five bucks because it is damaged. It was completely broken off. I glued it back up and it sold for $30 plus shipping. Pretty cool, a little samurai helmet, cast iron, paperweight. $9 plus shipping, we sold these Tupperware salt and pepper shakers. I think I paid like a buck for this, but 25 plus shipping. This is just a little ornament, little 14 karat commemorative ornament for someplace in Colorado. I think it's Colorado Springs. Yep, called the Broadmoor. I got this over at St. Vincent de Paul while we were thrifting for Plains to Profit. And I paid like $3.50 for this. I thought it was interesting because it was etched on it world's fair 1893 listed mine for 25 someone sent me an offer for 18 i figured i would take it because there was really no sold comps so we made some money 10.50 plus shipping on these adidas eight dollars and 40 cents on the set of brass candlesticks we've had those for a while and lastly got this in a random ring lot it is a biker gothic iron cross ring size eight and a half for men 10 bucks plus shipping. Hey guys, it's Monday night. Packing up a couple more orders before I go to bed. $16 plus shipping. We have this beautiful hand-painted Fenton shoe. 
and over here 20 plus ship i don't know if you guys remember i actually sold this a while back and they returned it because they weren't happy with the shade of pink that it was but anyways we just resold it again hey guys it's tuesday starting to pack a few orders before i head out to hit a few thrift stores and run some errands we listed this on my listing live the other day and it already sold for 80 dollars plus shipping we paid 15 at an estate sale last week